Okay, this lesson is going to explore some of the editing functions that are in the Womb system. Uh, and we're going to do that in by exploring uh, the uh, impact of birth rate in the Lotka Volterra Predator Prey Model as implemented in this Womb example. So what we'll do is we'll go to our function menu and we'll select Add Edit Modeling Element, which will then bring up our model editing screen. We'll go ahead to our active model drop down and we'll select the simple Lotka Volterra Predator Prey Model. Um, okay, so we get in there and then we click on that model under existing objects and all the sub -ob objects that are contained by that model, the, the components that actually make up the model itself, uh, get shown. So we're going to go down until we find population rabbit because we're going to look at what rabbit birth rates do to um, this thing. And in the process, we're going to learn how to edit objects in the womb. Okay, so here is your editing, editing uh, screen. We see our element name here is population rabbit. Um, now, the birth rate in a rabbit is controlled in what's called a subcomponent. It's a variable that exists on top of this object. So we're going to go over here to the fourth tab over, subcomponents, click on that, and we look down and we look at operators. We have an equation called birth rate in Lock of Voltaire Predator Prey. Okay? We see this is a component of type equation. The variable name is B, lowercase b, um, and these uh, variable names are case sensitive in the womb, so that's important to note. Uh, and then birth rate in a lack of Volterra predator prey. So right now we have a birth rate of 0 0.04, okay? Um, and we're going to save this and just go over to see what does that really mean. So we're going to take a look at our existing model output with that 0.04 birth rate. Okay, so we'll go to our run model. We select our Lotka Volterra Predator Prey model. We show cache model output since we've already run this model. And we want to take a look at what that does. So, we go to our graphs and we see the birth rate of 0.04, we see that you get fairly wide swings. The rabbit population goes almost up to 9,000 at its peak and then goes down as low as about 1,500 at its low point and then rebounds back up to 9,000. And this cycles infinite, in a kind of an infinite process. The fox population also varies widely under this scenario, where we go up to as much as 340 foxes, down to our low of about 10 foxes. Okay, and it also follows along in the same cyclical pattern as the rabbit populations. So now we'll go back to our Add Edit Modeling Component screen. And we're going to edit that birth rate and see what a change in the birth rate does to the performance of the model. So we go here to our Lock of Volterra model. We expand that. Population Rabbit. We click on that to edit it. So we have our rabbit population editing form up here, and we're going to go over to subcomponents and edit our birth rate. Okay, so that's our B, operator B. Um, the existing is 0.04, and we're going to go a large change, so we're going to change it by a factor of 10. We're going to decrease it, so we're going to change it from 0.04 to 0.004, and we'll change all of the initial and the values. Uh, so we save that, and once it's saved, then we'll go back to our run model function, select our Lotka Voltaire Predator Prey model. Now we'll uncheck show cache model output since we're going to run the model for uh, an, and, you know for because we've changed conditions. We don't we want to rerun the model. So now we'll wait. It should take less than a minute. This had a couple of effects. One, it decreased the volatility. So if you can see right here across the middle of the screen is our rabbit population, which now has very narrow level of variation between about 4,500 and 3,500 population kind of fluctuates there. And it also had the effect of of stabilizing our fox population, but not quite as much. Um, so it had a greater effect on stabilizing the changes in the rabbit population. 
So all this is very interesting. Uh, so we see that at least with these conditions that change, decreasing the birth rate of the rabbits tends to um, kind of moderate the, the overall um, um, volatility of the system. Um, <clears throat> although that volatility seems to still be fairly present with the, with the predator, but the prey itself um, changes very little.